Hey guys, we are back with a delicious vegetarian recipe with the main ingredient being our favorite soya bean which is also known as the vegetarian meat. So today we are making soya bean with a twist which is famously known as soya bean chop. So let's begin. I have soaked some soya bean seeds overnight. I have also soaked soya bean chunks for 4 to 5 hours. Now we need to make a smooth paste with these two ingredients. So here's the paste. Now add some flour to it. And some salt to taste. Now give it a quick mix. So you can see the dough is ready. We have to make strips out of this dough. So now we make small balls with this dough and flatten it like roti or chapati. Now cut it into strips. Take an ice cream stick. Wrap this strip around it. So guys, the swabbing chopsticks are ready and they are ready to get fried. Now add some oil because we are about to fry the chop. I am using less oil because I want the food to be healthy. The oil is hot. Now I am adding some chopped garlic because it has a good aroma. I'm putting some chop to fry. Remove the chop from heat when it turns brown. So the chop is good to go. For the curry, we need some freshly chopped onions. Capsicum, garlic, coriander, a bowl of tomato puree, 2 tablespoons ginger garlic paste, 2 freshly chopped green chilies. For the spices, I have taken a stick of cinnamon, 4 cloves, 4 cardamom, 1 bay leaf, 2 dry red chilli, and a spoon of jeera. Also, I have taken some fresh cream because it gives a very good taste. Now, my secret ingredient is kasori methi. I love the flavor. I love the odor. The kasori methi gives. It gives a totally different angle to our recipe. Now, we will dry roast the spices. The clove, cinnamon, dry red chilli, jeera. And everything roast the spices until you get a very good aroma out of it so my spices are done now I'll grind these into fine powder so my spices are ready give some oil in the pan let it heat add some more jeera
once the jeera turns brown add the ginger garlic paste put some salt saute this for like 30 seconds once the ginger garlic turns brown add the tomato puree that we had prepared before saute it for about 2 minutes until the oil separates from the puree in the meanwhile add some jeera powder some garam masala and some coriander powder give it a quick mix add some red chili powder you can add more if you want to i don't have that much spice so i'm adding less add some turmeric powder give it a quick mix stir continuously so that uh, the paste doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan to this add the roasted uh, grinded spices you can add a bit of sugar if you want to give it a quick mix now add the garlic the chopped green chilies adjust the salt accordingly so tomato puree is more or less cooked now i'll add some now i'll add the chopped onions the capsicum to it pour in some water so the gravy is made Don't overcook the onions or the capsicums. Let it be a bit crisp. Now add the cream. This will give a new dimension to your recipe. Now add the crushed kasori uh, methi. Give it a quick mix. Add the chopsticks to it. Cover it with a leaf. Let it cook for like around two minutes. I just add some freshly grated coriander to it, and it's good to go.